Today we're going to tell you about the EC021 uh, airless sprayer and this is a fantastic little machine. It's got a, uh, a fan cooled DC motor. It's 700 watts which is plenty to run a, a 021 tip. Uh, and it comes with a, with a, a straight mechanical uh, pressure control system which really actually works quite quite well. It's a, this is the, the pressure control and it comes out here, and here is your, is your uh, priming valve. And you can see it's a very light and simple machine. It's very easy to transport around the job site. And you've got here this, the suction hose, and also you've got the, the drain hose, which clips together with it. And it comes with the uh, inlet strainer. And this inlet tube is resistant to it's, in, it's uh, pressure resistant and also resistant to any kind of solvents that you'll be using. And uh, also, talking about the standard accessories that come with the machine, we've got a quarter inch uh, high pressure hose. And it comes with a contractor gun, which has a filter inside. And of course, we've got your throat seal oil, which goes right in here. And you've got your tip guard tip and seat. And this is the Tommy Bar. The Tommy Bar is for adjusting your packings. If you got a little bit of a paint leaking out of the top of the pump, you know you can tighten up your packings a bit. And it's a, it's a very simple machine to operate. You've just got your main control is just going to be your pressure on top. And you're very easy to use and easy to find on off switch, which is a simple toggle switch. And this first uh, option is our 6.2 liter hopper. And the hopper will take the place of your suction tube. And it will go right in here. And it makes it very easy to use small quantities of paint. And it makes it really easy to switch between different colors without having to go through too much trouble. And the, the hopper kit comes with the hopper itself. And it also comes with a special uh, drain tube, which goes with the hopper. So you'll take off your regular drain tube and you'll put this in its place. You see this drain tube can, is made to go into the hopper like that when you're uh, doing your recirculation. So that's the hopper. And another thing we have, we also have a pump filter. And this is a, this is a filter that, that will bolt right onto the pump here. And it will take, uh, be an extra layer of filtration. Be, be after, after the pump and before it goes into the hose. And in addition to that, we also have a mechanical pressure gauge. In case you need to know your pressure for some reason, you can uh, mount the optional pressure gauge. And in a minute, we'll tell you how to, how to mount the, these items. For mounting your hopper, you have to remove the suction tube and, and the drain tube as well. So to remove the, su the drain tube, you can just uh, pull off these clips and separate the, the, tube, the tubes from each other. And you can see there's a clip right here. You just pinch this clip and it just comes right out. And once it's out, you simply sort of twist and push down on the drain tube. It will pop out. And now the drain tube is out. And then you can put on a special hopper type drain hose. And there's a nipple right on here. You can just remove this nipple. And for this one, you need a 14 millimeter wrench. And then we thread out the drain tube itself. And that's a 17 mm And you can final tighten it. For mounting the hopper itself, it's usually it's probably easy just to tip it over like on its back like this so that you can see what you're doing. 
and you're just going to mount it into the suction side. Make sure it goes all the way in, and then we mount our clip. You can see the clip. Make sure it seats. Good to go. Now we're going to talk about some of our other accessories. Today we're going to talk about how to mount your uh, optional pressure gauge or your optional uh, pump filter. So first we'll mount the, our optional pressure gauge and first thing you need to do is you need to remove the fitting. And you, all you need for that is your uh, 14 millimeter wrench. And I'll remove the fitting. You notice the fitting has a flared end. Make sure that's the side that faces the hose. So here, here is our mechanical pressure gauge. And so to mount it, first remove it from the T fitting, and you want to mount your T fitting. So you can see here the T fitting has a plain end and a flare end. So the, the plain end is going to be the one that will really screw here into the pump. And you get it to where it's tight. And you want it to be pointed at an angle so that you can get the gauge screwed on without interfering with the pump body. And so it's on about a th at an angle, and then you thread the pump the, the gauge on. And you want to make it point, use your 14 millimeter wrench, you just want to make it point in a forward direction so that you can get it like so. Screw on here, and you've got a pressure gauge. Now, we about how to mount our pump filter. And you can see this is the nut that will hold the pump in place. There's a spring, and the filter uh, mounts inside here. So, we'll put that in there first. You notice the filter it has one side which is just a hole with a seal and the other side is a threaded fitting. So what we're going to do is we're going to re remove this fitting and then we're going to put it onto the pump with the flare side facing out. Toward it. And then all we have to do is we're going to mate this hole with this hole and we we'll use the four uh, screws which are provided. So you see there's a seal on this hole, this is the hole you're going to make to here. So you just put it in position, and you can see there's these four threaded holes. So you put it in position, and you start putting in the screws. And make sure the fitting is, is tight. And we're ready to mount our hose. Now, also, if we want to mount our pressure gauge with the pump filter in place, we can do that also. First, we just remove the fitting. And mount the T. And remember, the, the plain side will mount toward the pump. to an angle where we can screw the pressure gauge on. And the final tightening. And finally, put to the angle we need. And there we go. Just mount our hose right there and we are ready to go.